OpenShift 4 is now available as a dev preview and I have my OpenShift uh, 4 test cluster installed here and uh, one of the great things about OpenShift 4 is that it has a brand new UI for uh, managing and installing operators. It's part of the catalog and it's called Operator Hub and uh, you can see here a catalog of different operators and when I press this uh, show community operators I get to see the different unsupported operators and one of them is the Strimzy Kafka operator and here I can uh, press the install button to install it I have to select the installation mode in the future it will be possible to specify the namespaces uh, which the cluster operator should be watching but right now the only available and the default mode is that it will be installed and it will watch all the spaces in the whole all the namespaces and projects in the whole uh, OpenShift cluster so let's press the subscribe button and uh, now uh, the operator is marked as installed I can go to this operator management section to check the operator subscriptions it tells me that the operator is uh, up to date so when I go to these installed operators I can uh, see it here as well so let's go back to the projects and let's uh, create a new project called my Kafka let's name it my Kafka project and create it and uh, now I can go to the installed operators and uh, the Strimzy operator should uh, appear here and uh, now when I click on it I get to this menu where apart from the links to the documentation and website and some description I have also all of these uh, custom resources which we use for Strimzy and uh, when I click on this create new button then uh, it gives me an editor where I can see and edit the YAML with a custom resource and it also gives me an example of uh, Kafka cluster in this case which I can deploy so uh, this is a very simple example which will deploy Kafka 2.1 uh, cluster with three replicas uh, it will use plain and TLS listeners, some configuration, it will use free node, zookeeper cluster and so on. You can of course edit the resource as well. So uh, you can for example say that the TLS interface should be using uh, TLS client authentication and when you are done uh, with uh, all your changes you just press the create button it will create the resource and when I go to workloads and check the pods uh, I should see that it's already starting the zookeeper cluster and uh, uh, you know it's waiting for the zookeeper cluster to get started and bootstrap and then it will continue with Kafka this is the usual way how the stream the operator works of course from the installed operators from the from the menu I can also edit all the other resources like uh, Kafka topics or uh, users uh, I can of course deploy also Kafka connect uh, Kafka mirror maker I have here in this menu I have all these resources listed so I can easily click through to get overview of the existing uh, resources and uh, this whole thing makes it really easy for me to create and manage the Kafka clusters so when I check back uh, with the pods the zookeepers are now running now we are deploying the Kafka broker so uh, that uh, all was done uh, just with a uh, few clicks in the OpenShift UI I didn't even need it to use uh, the command line uh, everything worked perfectly just from the UI that's how it's easy to install Strimzy in uh, OpenShift 4. That's it. Thanks for watching.